Welcome to Creative Hobby Studio. In studio with us today is Nadine from Choco Paint. Welcome Nadine. Thank you Michelle. You're going to show us how to do stenciling today. Absolutely. Tell me about this. So first of all you need some masking tape okay. to secure your stencil. Yeah. Chalk or paint colours. Something that's nice about our colour range is you can combine any colours and it will work together. Okay. First of all, I am securing my stencil and I'm using masking tape. Not sellotape. No. Not any other tape, just masking tape. Yeah, it works best. It's and also the sellotape remove. leaves the residue behind. Absolutely. There you go. So I'm sure now that my stencil can't move. Okay. Next, I need a stencil brush. Okay. They come in different sizes. So depending on the size of your stencil, um, that will depend which size stencil brush okay. you will use. And can, can people get the stencils from your distributors? Yes, they can. And if they don't have all the designs, they can order from the distributors as well. Next, I'm deciding which colours I want to use. I want to add all three colours. Okay. Very important, I only dip the tip of my brush into the paint. Just remember to shake the bottle before you open the okay. paint. I have a piece of newspaper. For this instance, I have a piece of hardboard with me. Just to remove the, the excess, excess paint. Okay. paint. And also, you want the brush to be as dry as possible, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay. It's almost like your dry brush okay. technique. So the brush needs to be dry. Next, I'm going to work in circular movements to add my paint onto my stencil and onto the surface being stenciled. I can rather, Michelle, come back with a second coat. Um, then working with too much paint and the paint starts leaking okay. underneath and it seeks my stencil. Underneath, yeah. Adding a different colour. Okay. Once again, I rather dry my brush. And you'll have enough time for the colours to actually mix. It doesn't dry immediately. Not at all. Okay. Like you can see there, the blending has already started. Good. You don't need to work with more than one colour. I just want to show you how easy it is to actually combine colours and make it more adventurous. And you're also using the same brush? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to make life easy for myself. How hard are you pressing down on the stencil when you do these circular motions? Because my stencil is not wet. Okay. I can press hard. Okay. So I first make sure there's my cloth, make sure that it's not too wet and just complete the entire process. And now, I'm gonna just make that a bit darker. Would you also add dimension and shades? Would you, would you do that with the smaller brush or would you do that with the same brush? I use the same brush. If, for instance, you only want to add small details yes. over there, just use your smaller okay. brush. But for this stencil and the design of the stencil, that size brush is perfect. Absolutely. So next I'm removing the stencil. Oh, that masking tape. And this is now the wow factor. And voila. Oh, that's beautiful. And the colours have blended perfectly. Absolutely. So one tip to remember is rather use too little paint okay. than too much. Okay. You mentioned earlier that we could correct imperfections, should we have any? Absolutely. So you use a very fine grit sanding paper, yes. like a 600 grit. Okay. Like over there, where I've smudged when I try to remove the hair bristle of the brush. Okay. You just sand lightly and all the imperfections will be removed. Would you seal this with a, with a glaze? Depending what you're using it for. So if, for instance, a cheese board, it is safe to use if you um, seal it with a glaze, you can put your cheeses on there, um, it's safe to use. 
You mentioned a cheese board. Would we be able to actually serve cheese on this? Absolutely. All our products are non-toxic and safe to use. And cleaning afterwards, how would we do that? Take a damp cloth, wipe it, and it's ready to use for next time. Don't soak it in water. Okay. And you don't need to reapply the sealant after a while? Never. One coat and we're finished? Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Nadine. Thank you, Michelle. For more videos, go to our Facebook pages.